there are some things that you can do to protect your computer in case somebody can get physical access to it. The thing is, if I can get physical access to your system, I don't need to know your passwords. I don't need to know much of anything about the system at all because I could install a boot disk like a CD or a USB stick. I could boot to whatever operating system I have. So I've got some distribution of Linux on either a CD or a USB stick. I can boot from that Linux distribution and gain access to your system in that way. If I can get physical access to your system, I can get control of it. So how do we protect against that? Well, there are a handful of things you can do. One of the things you can do is you can turn on BIOS passwords. Your system has some configuration settings. Typically, this has been called the basic input-output system, and it is a way of doing a number of configuration settings or providing a number of configuration settings regarding your system. So here's an image of a pretty standard BIOS setup utility. Now, different computers have different BIOS firmware, and that firmware is going to present different menu settings. Basically, what you're doing is you're looking for the security setting so that you can set a password. You can see the supervisor password is set. There's a user password that's also set, and there are some other configuration parameters. So password on boot. When the system first boots up, it is going to prompt for a password. This is before any operating system actually executes. Before the operating system bootloader, anything happens at all, we're going to ask for a password. If the password is correct, the system will boot up. Now, there are some other things that you can do as well. Of course, you can enable hard drive encryption. We'll talk about that later on. And that's going to protect you against somebody removing your hard drive and extracting the data from it. If I want to protect against somebody actually doing something to my system, like booting a different operating system temporarily to change passwords or extract data, of course, the encryption settings are going to help there. But other things that I can do are just simple physical access controls. If I've got a server, I may want to actually lock the server into a rack. So I may have a cage around the rack, for example. I probably want to put locks on the doors where the servers are actually located. If it's a desktop system, I can lock it to the desk using chains or cables, something along those lines. So there are a number of physical protections you can take as well. You can lock the system into place, making it much harder for somebody to remove the system or gain access to it in order to do some temporary boot thing. You can encrypt the hard disks. And of course, you can also set a BIOS password in order to prevent anybody from doing any booting at all unless they know the password that is necessary.